experimental volcanology PhD student at the University of Liverpool. And for the next two minutes, I'm going to teach you about magma rheology. Welcome to my lab. So, what is magma rheology? Well, rheology is the physics of the flow and deformation of a material. So in our case, we're looking at a volcanic liquid, magma. And we can have different types of rheology. We can have Newtonian rheology, which is when we deform something, its viscosity remains constant. And the viscosity is the resistance of that material to flow. So basically the opposite of how runny something is. So when I take my water and I deform it, it doesn't matter how fast or slow I pour it, its viscosity remains constant. But we can also have a non-Newtonian rheology. And that's what happens when we add particles to something. So in the case of tomato ketchup, we've added tomato particles. And you can see that when I turn the bottle upside down, the liquid doesn't really flow. But if I hit it, the liquid's more likely to flow. So in this case, its viscosity decreases with increase in deformation. So, as we've just seen with our ketchup, our viscosity decreased as we increased our deformation rate. And that's what we call a shear thinning material. But we can also have a shear thickening material, like this silly putty. I roll this silly putty into a bottle and left it, and just under gravitational force, it began to flow. I can then deform my silly putty a little bit faster into a ball, deforming it plastically. Then, if I drop my silly putty, it bounces, and it deforms elastically. I can then also deform it even faster, turning this silly putty into a brittle solid. So I have my safety goggles, my hammer and my silly putty and now I'm going to break on the floor. Now let's see that a little bit slower. So as you can see, hitting the silly put putty with the hammer made it fracture brittily, meaning that the viscosity increases with deformation rate, meaning we have a sheer thickening fluid. If we understand magma rheology, then we can determine how a volcano will erupt, either explosively or effusively and that will help us mitigate volcanic hazards.